Oh, good morning. It's you. Welcome back to the backlog, and welcome back to Moonglow Valley. I'm sorry, Moon Moonglow Harvest Tycoon. No, I mean, the fishing empire of Moonglow Bay. I um, as you as you, you might have noticed already, I've I've been hard at work. Um, I've been doing some stuff, sold a bunch of stuff, and now I have twenty three thousand dollars to spend, which is super good. Because I uh, cleared out some of my tasks here and found that, um, one of them is I have to renovate the entire library and that takes 5,000 shells. So I just went out shipping, uh, shopping, and uh, fishing, and, and made a bunch of fish and sold it all. And, huh, now we can go buy an entire library, apparently. So let's go and buy us that library. Excuse me, I have money. Do you have books? Just like that, it all becomes clear. Mm -hmm. What does? How my children raised that money so fast. Lily and Ethan think they're real hustlers. But it was you. Every shell. Maybe not every shell. Help me understand, Backlog. You worked for all of this, just to give it away. What are you looking for? Honestly, what are you hoping to find? Nothing. I just want to help. I think I understand. There are many worthy businesses in town, all in dire need of investment. And your generosity won't soon be forgotten. I hope you find a backlog. Whatever you're looking for. Maybe what we're looking for is what we've already found. So, the Oluet turns. Where to begin? I'll take marine life if you take local history. Hmm. Lucky me. Okay, see you in the middle. <laughs> it's not a big library we've purchased, but... Uh, Among the most elusive are the purported twin fish in the geyser depths. Well, some early settlers believed they were an augur of wealth and good fortune. Others regarded their symmetrical dance as one of anguish and eternal struggle. And an ill omen for the fledgling town. Hmm. Must be worth a fortune. Okay, Dad. Enough folklore. Folklore. Time for a history lesson. Twin brothers Benoit and Pellier Oluet traveled east from Ontario with their families in 1883. After settling, the brothers explored the eastern springs and discovered a bounty of wondrous new species. The younger twin, Benoit, suggested they use the fish to enrich the town. However, the superstitious Pelsier believed doing so would cause the bay, curse the bay for a hundred years. Unable to compromise, the brothers constructed an ocean door to permanently separate the halves of the bay, which was to be used only with their express permission. And so they forged a key. Great. Where is it? Doesn't say. It was passed from Benoit to his son Antoine in 1921. Then to Leo Tremblay in 1954, who disposed of it utterly in 1960. Then it ends. Drat. It could be anywhere. It could take months of meticulous, painstaking research just to... Yeah. Uh, sorry, hold on. By hurling it into the icy depths of the bay's most northern, northwestern oh. point. It was on the next page. Huh. The open chill, it's gotta be. A heavy hunk of metal in those calm waters. I bet you a lobster lunch, it's still there. Ha ha ha, you're on. Hey, before we rush off, what's this? Oh, that's Moonglow's investment and renovation meter. It's a record of shells spent on town refurbishments. And these little marks? Are milestones. I've created a few incentives for reaching certain amounts. Wow, you have been busy. Well, the mayor doesn't pay me just to hang around on a boat all day. Huh. And with so much that needs doing, the rewards are yours for the taking. Every renovation you purchase is one more step towards the next reward. When you reach a new milestone, just come back here to claim your reward. Okay, let's see what, what kind of things. Yes, 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 milestone. Uh, $7,000 invested in Moonglow Bay. Reward new flags for your boat. Ooh, nice. Yeah, but I want to know about the other ones. Oh, it only lets me know about the next one. Fine, let's go do some investing, I guess. 
Oh, we've we've already invested seven thousand dollars. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, she wants tuna sashimi. Okay, let's uh let's uh, just a minute then. Let me check out my thing here on library. Uh huh. We can go to the library now. That's nice. And oh wait, mm, objective. Why do I have an objective over there? That's not the northernmost point, is it? It can't be. Because this is north. North is up. North is always up. Unless they think that's north. Maybe this is north. No, no. Out, out, out. Be gone. Thank you. No, that's north. Oh, maybe it's the northernmost point of Moonglow Bay. Not near New Moonglow. Okay, that that makes sense. Anyway, let's uh, let's head over there, I guess. And uh, do us some fishing with maybe a magnet would be cool. Oh, but first we're going to stop by the market and buy some fish. Yes, I do go fishing, but then I buy a bunch of fish too because these uh, often get used and stuff. I want all your fish. Just, just give me all the fish. I have recipes that need doing. And I can make up to 20 items all at once now, so I might as well have them all. Thank you. Yes. And I'm, I, I have I have all the recipes, right? Yeah. Okay, pretty much. Oh, yeah, and I got the... Um, the meat cleaver. So I can make I can make high-quality bait now. Ooh, what's this? Sunville Residences. My carton shouldn't have a hedge maze. Let's make it look pretty. Yeah. Let's see, anything else? Oh, this one over here. River Fisher's home. I'm fine. Help the rest of the town first. No. Have my money. I mean, after all, y'all y'all were the ones buying my fish. I'm just going to start here on the bottom and work our way up. Oh, Sunville Street. This rock pile has lived here longer than me. Be free, Sun Rock Pile. Sun Sunville Lane Rock Pile. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, what about this one? You could follow a rabbit down that pothole. You wouldn't get very far. Oh, we are helping the town out so much. When they say money can't buy happiness. They're right, but it certainly can buy you a nice place to live. Once with all the garbage. Greenville, Greenville cul-de-sac. Someone call a gardener. Or an exterminator. How about I just throw some money at the problem, shall I? Ah, uh, money. Money. Oh, what, 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 what's this? There's a thing right here. Proposal, sea market, an ocean of thanks from Fran, Kevin, and Grace. I've already opened up the sea market. What more is there? Oh, hmm. We've repaired quite a few locations. Maybe there's a new reward. Let's check the investment and renovation. You are the one who made it. Just tell me the next reward, daughter. Daughter. Excellent. We've already reached the first milestone. The reward is pendant flags for the two cats. You can change the two cats' appearance at any time at the scrap shop. Yeah, but what about the next one? Investment and renovation meter by R. Fisher. Milestone 10,000 shells invested in Moon Globe. A new paint scheme for your boat. Oh, fancy. Okay, all right. What's this? Uh, town Hall Library. Welcome to a new era of environment. Uh, enlightenment, excuse me, not environment. That's only 400. And you, what's up? Let's kick this tech company into the 1980s. <laughs> 1980s, you're adorable. 1980s. Yes, do it. What's, what's, what's with this? What's this? Is this the park? Uh, no ads, flyers, or amusing doodles. Oh, $5,000 for this area. Let's just do it. Don't ask about the money. Oh, that's pretty. Look what we made. We made some pretty. 
Can I open this up? No, but what about here? Please stop throwing empty cans onto my roof. Let's help him with his roof. Woot! Oh, everything's looking so nice. Hey, is there anything new in here? Now that it's all fixed up, let me just check. Do, do you sell like more fish now? No. There is there is a question mark down at the bottom though. What's that about? Okay, so that's just that's just what I'm I'm looking at. Okay. Fine. Oh, can I can I clean up the beach? Aha! Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh, South Sands Beach. Together we can beautify our beloved beach. With garbage bags! Uh, specifically removed. Oh, that looks real nice now. Nice, nice. What about this one? Uh, let's trade the trash for trees. Let's trade that trash for trees. I think that's a good trade. I'll take it. Oh, I was not expecting to be using up so much money so quickly, but boy, oh boy, I need to go make some more fish. Specifically into food. Let's see here. Um, yep, yep. Let each beak, a beach speak and teach. Oh, man. Oh, mm-hmm. Yep, yep. What's this? What is this? Uh, our barber's pole is a wasp nest. Do I have that much money? Looks like I have that much money. Nice! This place is looking so awesome. Okay, there's a pond. I probably don't have enough money to keep going. But let's see, did I finish the next... Where, where are we? Oh, we are almost... Amazing! You've reached the second milestone! Your reward is a new paint job for the two cats. You can change the color at the scrap shop. What's the next reward? <gasps> Fantastic! That's the third milestone! A scooter! Handmade by Sarah. It's very special vehicle. It's perfect for zipping around town. Oh, nice! That's good. Investment and renovation meter. $20,000 invested in Moonglow Bay. The multi-lure to improve fishing efficiency. <gasps> I wish it would tell me how much I've invested already. There's probably a thing somewhere. Uh, how do I do the scooter thing? Scooter. Not seeing a button for go fast. Let's go talk to Sarah. In the scrap shop. See if she can uh, elucidate about the scooter date. Ew! Oh. Sure, take a look. Ah. Uh, let's get that new paint job going. Okay, and there's the old paint job, so we can we can just swap them off. Nice. And, uh, oh, skadoosh. Hey, backlog, like I said, if you're looking for connections, nothing, make, feed them food. Okay. Where's my scooter? Hold on, let me check. Oh, there's my scooter. How do we use it? I want to use it. I want to use my scooter. All right, let's see here. Um... Oh! Hey, Rose, gorgeous too. What's it called? I don't believe it has a name. I learned it from Suzuka. Who, who in turn learned it from a, a magical clam. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so we got a magical clam we gotta go find. No beat poetry. Let's go beat that poetry. Oh, and we are very poor. Okay, 2,000 for that. We don't have for... Uh, for uh, uh -huh. What about this? Oh, 1,200, okay. 3,000 for this, okay. Woohoo! Okay, things get expensive on this side. Everybody wants their houses looking real nice. We'll get around to it. You'll have to buy... Uh, you'll have to buy some fish before I can buy you a house. 
But it does look like things will look real nice real soon. And what what's this over here? No, okay, we've already done that thing. Yo! Hey, hey. Oh, I'm afraid I've heard you've heard all the stories I've got. And then how much for this beach? Oh, that's, we can actually do that. We have enough for that. Nice. Okay. I actually do need to leave some money in the coffers because to make some of the higher grade uh, meals actually cost money up front. And then you, uh, you make it back on the back end. Uh-oh. What's this? I think we found our destination. I mean, this doesn't look like a key, but I mean, I'll take your word for it. Got it. Oh, okay. Now it looks like a key. Nasty, weird, ucky key. Oh, wow. Is that it? Dad, that's spectacular. It looks like you owe me a lobster lunch. Hmm? What? I thought if we found it, you owe me. But the, wait, why would I be bet against finding it? I don't know. For lobster? Hmm. Okay, let's head back to the ocean door. We'll take the dinghy and hope this giant iron key still works after 20 years' buildup of rust and barnacles. Stranger things have happened. Maybe the twin fish are still on the other side. Let's go. Let's go, everybody. Off to open the door to Narnia. Ah. And here we are. Let's see, how do we do the, the dingy thingy? Oh, wait a minute. I see a little thing up here. Uh huh. No? Are you sure? Are you sure that's not the way in? Ah, maybe this is the way in. There we go. Okay, we got a maze. Hmm, can't get any closer in the two cats. Time to take out the dinghy. Here we go. Hmm. This feels so strange after being in the trawler. I feel like a minnow. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Oh. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I, I don't see her here. A shallow stream, huh? Okay, let's explore. And then maybe we get around to the back side of it and use the key. Oh, map, help me out here. Because it looks like we're gonna get stuck going some direction or other. Woohoo! Oh, there's a thing there. Ow. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I gotta do some I gotta do some fishing. Just a second. It's kind of what I do. It's my thing. You understand. Rhino's hand, please. Spiked soul of the deep. And zebras. Wonder what all those real names are, huh? Okay. All right. And what do we get? What do we get? <gasps> A coily fish. The spiked soul of the deep. Come here, fishies. Come here, fishies. Spike, a desert crawler. Ooh, that's at least three new species. Love it. A floating plantain. There we go. It's 
spiked sole. I'm wondering, does that count as like a crab or does that count as like a lobster, sea cucumber, an enemy? What kind of thing is that, really? Plantain. Ooh, hidden seeds, bubble barnacles, and a cullifish. Like a cauliflower? Put in fish form? And a hidden seeds. Yay! Okay. All right. We've, we've had our fun. Now, off to, off to explore and map the area. Okay, we do want to go over there, it looks like. Ooh! Is this good for us to be in? Is this okay? Oh, these are the, the hot springs. The bubbly hot springs. And, um, because I have a problem. Let's, let's, let's throw out our net again. Ooh, I mean, is it a problem for a fisherman to really enjoy fishing? I don't think so. Hidden seeds, spike sole of the deep, rhino sand flea, collie fish, boxer shrimp. Okay, cool. So, mostly stuff we've already seen, but good stuff. Ooh, hidden fishes. Nice. Are we ready to go down there? Yeah, I think so. Here we go. Thermal geysers, yes. Oh, I'm getting sleepy. I'm getting sleepy. Yellowfin tuna. Ooh. Yeah, maybe I should have taken a nap before going exploring. Plundering the depths. Oh, look at all of this whole area. Okay, so we do want to get around to this side, so we can't go this way. So we got to be careful which exit we take. Okay, so when we go... Okay, so when we go this way... We want to keep a hard right. Nice. There, we've made it into this area. Cool. Let's go exploring. Oh, the fish. There's so many of the fish. Oh, and deer. They're kind of trapped. Oh, dear. Oh, somebody's been here. And it did not go well. Another whole big, huge area. Look at this place. Twin Tail Lake. Oh, shoot. Look at this whole big place over here. Resting Crag. Let's see, what do you got? Fish, 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 more fish. 
deadly tread. And a pepper fish. Oh, the little pepper fish. There we go. Got them all. Oh, can we get that one? No, we can't. Not quite. A moon eel. <gasps> Brazilian electric ray. Oh. Oh, that didn't work. Get them all. I'm back. There, we got them all. Yes. Oh, real nice. Real nice. Okay. I'm getting real tired. There's so much to explore. I don't even want to stop. Resting crag and a twin tail lake and oh, look at all the things. All right, let's go open us a door. Because, I mean, that's what we're supposed to do, I guess, maybe. Opens the door! Ooh. There it is. The lock. I think I can reach it. Mm -hmm. It lives! <laughs> okay, back to the two cats. Nice! Ooh, I just unlocked an ancient feud. Steam achievement, here we go. Okay, um, the, um... Yes, let's let's go. Uh, actually, you know what? You know what? We probably ought to go take a nap first. Oh. There we go. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's call this an episode right here. I feel like we're about ready to go into a boss battle. So we'll go into a boss battle and we'll do a bunch of cooking and we'll save the town. It'll be great. Thank you for watching. Here on the backlog. I'll play with you again later.